Hello guys, welcome back to Python and Sybil for Network Automation Series. So, uh, first of all, thank you for giving so much of uh, attention and love towards my first video. So, that was on Python 2. So, if you guys do not know, Python 2 is sunsetting. That means the Python 2 is getting obsolete. Okay, so uh, January 1st, 2020 is the last date when Python 2 would be declared as a end of support and there will be no support provided to Python 2. So what, what does uh, that mean? So we are supposed to upgrade to Python 3. Okay, so that is why my future videos will be on Python 3 instead of Python 2. We will not be um, wasting our time on Python 2 so so let, let's let's see what do i have for today okay so this is my gns lab where i have a um, network automation tool okay and i have a ethernet switch with uh, cisco switches and cisco routers okay so my uh, task for this uh, this lab is to create 10 loopbacks on routers and switches, create some OSPF process and also create BGP process. Okay. So these are few things which we do it on daily basis, creating new interfaces or creating OSPF or BGP is done on like regular basis. If, if you are creating some new project or if, if you are being assigned to a new project where the configuration are to be done from scratch then you need these configuration for the first time so which you can automate with the help of python so i'm going to teach you how, how this can be done okay and one more interesting fact here is uh, if you see the ip address on each of the devices uh, they are not in sequence okay and this is for purposefully i have taken such scenario so if if you see the ip address so it's 172.16.221.145. The second instance has IP address of .46. And if you see the rest, then you have .148.150.155. So I'm going to teach you how, uh, uh, like how, how to achieve uh, a single script or a single script for this kind of requirement okay so basically you need to make one file and you have to note down all the uh, ips separately okay and we will be calling that with the help of uh, python script okay so let let me go through the script so basically <clears throat> this is a python 3 uh, import libraries that we are uh, we we would be uh, taking the support okay instead of going and creating your own libraries we will be um, relying on someone else work who has already developed or who has done a lot of contribution to python 3 industry okay so this is what we are going to import this is a, a variable and we are defining our host to be a file called switches and that is nothing but list of IPs. Okay. So basically all of them have been mentioned here. And we need username and password. So basically I could have removed this. And I could have mentioned admin and password to be Cisco. And set all admin Cisco. But that is not my purpose uh, of this script. Okay. Uh, keeping username and password on a script is not a good idea so basically if say for example there are five uh, users so might be they have their own credentials right so it's not a good idea to uh, keep the default users uh, username and password right so we are not going to make use of password username and password inside the script instead we will let the user input username and password when they uh, execute this script okay so this is a variable where it uh, uh, which uh, where where it uh, gives an option to the uh, engineer or uh, or the employee so they they can input their username and then they can also input their password 
so this is a python script it it is acting as a loop so basically we have five switches right so we will configure one by one say for example first my configuration will be carried uh, on this then it will be taken to the second one then third fourth and fifth so we need something which can do the job so it's basically kind of loop okay so what i have done is i have uh, called f to be variable and i have defined this so this has to be again uh, defined so basically i have written one more uh, python script for that which says f equals to open switches okay so basically that is nothing but these ips and then we are saying that ip in f and print ip so basically we need this so that we can run the run our required configuration one by one okay so basically it is acting as a loop and then we have the actual configurations so basically <clears throat> we have created a for loop okay so it says ip in f that is nothing but ip in f so it's like one by one and then this is how we come to know the configuration is going on the first switch so once it's completed the configuration should go to the second one right so basically we will be getting uh, a line saying the configuration is right now happening on like switch one and then on the second device and third device and so on right so we will have a clear vision about this this is a telnet library okay this is where you will input your username and the username will be uh, uh, will be uh, authenticated and then you have password okay so after credential after you have a successful credential granted you will take the configuration t of a device you have a for loop written for your loop backs so basically i have said configure loop back 1 to loop back 15 okay so basically i can make it 1 to 10 or i can make it 1 to 5 so whatever it is so i i just uh, i'm just going with 15 loop backs so it it will first go with interface loop back command and then it will create ip address uh to each one of them and then we have the ospf commands and then we have bgp command and after configuration individually on each device the output will be shown as there and uh, they they there on the python script itself okay so basically it will be useful for us to validate the, uh, there and then okay we don't have to log in to devices uh, and then validate so basically if there is any error we will get the error on python uh, console itself okay and these are the basic configuration that i have done on these devices so basically i have enabled telnet and nothing much okay i just give ip address on the vlan one uh, enabled vty and then telnet so that is what there there is something simple which everyone knows okay so th this is the complete python script so i was talking about switches and i was talking about python loop so let me execute this python loop and let's check if it's working as expected okay so let me go to the path where i have this stored and let me say python 3 python loop and if you see this we have all ips one by one one below one okay so that is what will happen when when i execute the main script configuration will hit on the first ip all the steps will be carried out then it will go back to second and then it will finish for second then it will go for third and fourth and fifth so on okay so let's execute the main script okay so it's a python 3 script and uh, the script name is loop back within loop working okay so let me execute this 
and if i enter then yes as i told you it will ask me for username and password okay which which is what i want it so username and password is admin and cisco that is what i have configured here okay and if you see the output here okay so we we are right now configuring this on the first switch that is what i told you we need to understand where the configuration is running okay so the configuration okay the configuration has successful on dot 145 dot 146 now it's going on dot 148 okay so one dot 148 is done now it's running on dot 150 so that is why this line helps us to understand the configuration is uh, right now happening on this switch okay and that's all so the job is done okay so we have configured multiple loopbacks ospf configuration and bgp on all the five devices okay and this is the output that i was talking about that that is being generated because of this command okay now <clears throat> if you want to double check you can go to these actual devices you can uh you can make use of show ip in brief command so you have all the loopbacks here along with the ips that we have coded okay we also have ospf here we also have bgp here okay so it, it just took us like two to three minutes to configure on five devices right say for example you have hundred of devices then again it, it, it is a like five minute of job so that was all about today's uh, video okay so do comment and do let me know if you have some requirement and that you would like to have a script designed for so i'll i'll just see if i can help you there okay and also comment if there is something which i could have improvised in this particular case okay so basically it is all good and well which i thought uh, should be say for example loopback is on uh, four loop so basically you can create any number of loopback okay and no one goes with multiple ospf process so there is no point running on loop bgp and bgp is a single instance running on one device so if you if you are a networking guy so you should be knowing uh, the basics right so rest is all good okay so in case if you are running on python 2.7 i would recommend upgrade yourself to python 3 the commands are almost same but there are few differences say for example if you see this uh, alphabet called b which resembles bytes so it, it's uh, it's uh, been added in python 3 okay so earlier in python 2 2.7 we had nothing called uh, b okay so this is something which we will cover up in the real classes okay i cannot cover each and everything in this these short videos so basically if you join my real classes uh, online then i can i can guide through each and everything so guys that's all for today and i hope you guys enjoyed this and the script is available uh, you can download it for free okay so i'll leave that uh, link on uh, in the description box below okay have a nice day see you in the next uh video with an interesting concept once again okay so have a nice day and take care bye